Hey guys, it's Core Ross and Rainbow Six News. Today we're talking about the changes coming to Ranked in Year 9 of Rainbow Six Siege. And the first is a whole new reward. So in the season Deadly Omen, which is the first of this year, you'll be able to unlock this headgear for Thermite by attaining Gold 1 in Ranked. And this is essentially a test of what they're planning to do in the future. So this may end up working a little bit like Rainbow Six Extraction, where you unlock this headgear for every single operator and it'll have its own unique look. And most likely you'll get it at the same time as you get all the other ranked rewards at the end of the season, and then you'll be able to use it next season. But if it works anything like Extraction, it goes away if you don't then attain that same rank next season. So it potentially keeps you coming back for more. And as you can see here from the graphics, this is what the headgear looks like, and it's very much a crown. And this is, of course, the gold one. So you can imagine a diamond one, an emerald one, and all that, and up to champion. And who knows, they might even give champion, say, a fire effect or something like that. I could easily see something a bit more glitzy for the champion one. And of course, it'll be completely optional if you want to use it or not. And you could even just slap on the copper one. Now, moving on to the next subject, we have dynamic matchmaking. So this is a feature coming in season four of year nine. So that would be around about November to December. And people got quite excited on this might fix the ranked matchmaking. And let's first have a quick listen to what was said and then we'll break it down. So in season four, we're introducing something that we call dynamic matchmaking. This is making sure we have more flexible matchmaking for players in lower population zones or in places that when you're playing and it's not peak uh, siege time, you're still getting a fair match. So if you're in Australia playing at like five o'clock in the morning, you're still getting a balanced and fair matchmaking experience. So unfortunately, I don't think this really has anything to do with the general matchmaking in Siege. I think this is, and he seems to make a point of it, about being like at odd times of the day or low times of population play so that you can get a fair match even if there's not many people playing on your current server location. So I don't think this is a general change to the ranked matchmaking, but maybe I'm wrong. Certainly though, he's underplaying it if that is the case. Now let's move on to another rank change that is quite a big one, and that is that console players will be able to jump over and play in the PC matchmaking. This means they can play PC ranked. And I wanted to break this down because this is not something that I think most people will understand right off the bat, is that if you're a console player, let's just say I'm playing on console and I get to GOAT. If I jump over and decide to play with PC players, and I go over there and play with my friends on PC, and I start to play ranked, I'm not going to impact my rank on console because there's actually two different rank pools. If I open my game on PC, it will show me my PC rank. If I open my game on Xbox, it will show me my console rank. And this means for me, jumping over to PC and playing ranked, I don't lose anything. I can play really badly on PC with a controller and it doesn't matter because my console rank is completely fine. And I can kind of technically do this already because I did used to play on controller on PC for a couple of years and then I switched back to console recently when cross progression was originally added back in. Now, I do wonder if that will piss off some PC players because it could be that you end up with a whole bunch of console players in your PC lobbies that you might not want on your team. But I'm certainly very happy with this feature. I've got no real complaints about it at all. And it might piss off a few people, but I think this is gonna be wonderful. And it means friends can play with friends. And here's what they had to say at the reveal itself. Crossplay is the final update that we're bringing to the table, letting console players play with PC friends. It should be very important. We'll take a moment to celebrate this. But it's very important to note that this is a one-way street. PC players will not be allowed to play with console matchmaking. So now, with this set, doesn't matter what platform you're on, what console you're playing on, with Siege, you can always play with your friends. Now let's talk about a ranked adjacent thing, and that is the badges and the stats. So you're gonna be able to unlock badges and presumably there will be ones that will be simply just ranks, but also there's gonna be stuff for doing all kinds of different things in different places and I'm loving this. Hopefully this maybe goes towards, say, uh, operator mastery system in the future one day, but this is a big step forward and you can put these badges on your player cards in the game. And this is currently scheduled for season three of year nine. And alongside this, we'll also be adding in the career page, which is spectacular. This is basically all the stats we currently have. If you go to the website, you can go to services and you can look at your stats. 
but I've always wanted them in the freaking game. Back in the day, we did have quite a lot of stats in game and they removed them. So it's great to see them coming back in. And again, this is scheduled for season three. And this is what the developers had to say about it. This is where you'll be able to earn the achievements and challenges and equip those badges as a badge of honor so that you can show them off with all of your friends. And on top of that, we're creating a new home for badges too, which is the career page. The career page is where you can see your stats, see how your last matches went, and customize which badges you equip on your profile. Now, another thing that's scheduled for season three is the Siege Cup. Something that was announced many, many years ago. This was like way pre-COVID and everything. It was so long ago, but they're finally adding into the game. So if you find, say, rank to be a too casual experience, you can sign up for a Siege Cup. This will happen every two weeks as of season three of year nine. And it'll be a full on tournament. And the way they sold this last time, of course, that was a long time ago. This was supposed to be split up into different kind of uh, skill categories. So you could be very low skilled and you would end up in a, a tournament with very low skilled players and stuff like that. We'll see how that ends up balancing out. But it's a wonderful additional thing that is actually above ranked in kind of hardcore potential play and you're going to get rewards and stuff for playing it and of course winning will get more rewards and it should be unique rewards so we'll see how they pull that off because it'll be every two weeks what exactly do you get for rewards is it just some alpha packs or are you going to walk away with some really cool things and then finally we have a whole new after action report which is just glorious as it shows off your customized character along with your teammates and you can go ahead and you can give them good reputation and stuff in there and then in the next screen, it's got something I've been wanting for a very long time, and that's just simply my challenges. I can actually see how I'm progressing through them, what ones I still have to complete without having to go back to the main menu. And this means you can just go from game to game to game. And of course, it's also got your rank in there, your level, and all kinds of stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing this get added in, but it is a while away. And season three will launch around about August. And that's, of course, if any of these features don't get delayed this year. So fingers crossed. But what I will say is there is no ranked 3.0. I've seen a lot of speculation about ranked 3.0. That is not coming. There's no major overhaul to the system. They have talked about how they want to uh, clean up some kind of misconceptions about ranked and stuff and people are getting confused with the hidden matchmaking. I could imagine that the hidden matchmaking rating might become visible someday. And if I had to guess, I would imagine that that hidden skill rating will become visible in your career page in the future so that you get a rough idea of where you sit compared to your friends and stuff like that. But there is no rank 3.0 and rank 2.0 is not getting any significant changes this year. And I wouldn't expect to see any major differences to ranked for many years to come. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.